guys, it's NBZ. I got a game versus Ryan here. He has numbers at the end of his name. They are of no real significance, and I choose my Sandstorm team today. Anyway, today is a game. Um, hi guys, this is Zedipus Rex here using some 589. That was to remind me that this guy's name was Ryan589 because, I mean, how obscure can you get when you use numbers like that? Anyway, I found him in AA chat, and um, this was before um, drought was legal uh, on Nine Tails, and um, I was quite annoyed because this guy decided to use a fire, sun team, sun dance, rain, sun, sun, a fucking freaking sun team on me, okay? Jeez, get it right, man. So basically, here is the gist of the game. I'll lead off with my Mrs. T while he leads off with his vagina saw because obviously he has to make references like vagina to get viewers because that's how people get viewers these days by making sexual references. Goes for the sleep powder and I don't really want to take that so I'm going to switch right out but I don't. I stay in here and I'll take the sleep powder. Now he's going to go out to his nice ass which is his nine tails here. Don't really want to take the sun down. So what the fuck, man? My, my, jeez, Australian was going downhill there. I'm not really sure what's going on. I was trying to be South African, Australian, improv in it, but it wasn't going down, so I'm not going to do it. So let's switch out here to Nubs. Um, take the solar beam like a boss, because Nubs is a boss, and that's a um, that's no sandstorm boost helping me there, which shows you how pathetic Nine Tails is. Unfortunately, he has fire blast, um, which is going to do a lot because he um, he's in the sun now, and the the problem with Sun is that it means that Shuckle's defense is no longer over 900, um, which is really disappointing. So he goes for the pretty pointless Toxic, because Toxic is completely useless just due to the fact that I have rest, and um, that's pretty much the deal there. So I'm not going to be predicting much here, I'm just staying in, and I think I'm going to go for a Toxic on him, you know, bite back with the same bullet if you know what I'm doing, and uh, that's pretty much how it goes down. So he's Toxic now, it's going to be help later on in the long run so that he can um, take damage from that but I know that I'm not gonna survive another sun boosted blast which from Ninetales is stabbed as well uh, so I'm gonna go out to my T-Tar to take it and set up my sand once again meaning that um, it will do even less because I get the spadef boost once more now because of sleep resetting I he now has a guaranteed one turn of sleep so he's safe switching out regardless like this is really unfair but uh, he is safe switching out and he goes to his vagina sore again which is just you know that's just so really annoying and I'm like oh, god he's just gonna keep hitting me with energy balls and I'm just gonna die it's gonna be such a pain and um, so I burn one turn of sleep and he goes for a sludge bomb I'm like dude what the hell are you doing do you predict a switch or something and then he was I can't even remember what he said but uh he must have predicted a switch or something but um, I'm just staying in here he goes for a hidden power I'm like fuck he's got hidden power fighting and then it's neutral hidden power I'm like whoa what the hell is this neutral hidden power um yeah and he was like basically he didn't because of the fact that he slept my boa first turn he didn't know that it was a boa meaning that he was just trying to hit me with a move, so th I don't even know, but he said he thought I was a dragon dancer, so he didn't want me to get a free dragon dance or something, but I still don't find the motive be be behind him using hidden power and not going to nine. Oh, I know why, because he thought I'd wake up an earthquake and he didn't want to go to nine tails and risk that. So anyway, I got the free sub as he keeps hidden powering, which is not even going to break my sub, and I get the fire blast off, because um, bow with fire blast is very useful. And Hidden Power keeps going, I don't think this is going to break the sub, um, it doesn't, and I get a crunch off, which is just going to take him right out, so that's great for me, Venusaur's out the way, and I no longer have to worry about stupid sleep powdering, which is uh, it's just a nuisance more than anything else, I mean, it's not really much of a threat, it's just a pain in the ass, because uh, of freaking sleep resetting, so he goes out to his nine tails to reset his sun, I'm predicting he's going to switch out again, because, I mean, he doesn't really want to take a crunch to the face, I'm going to just go for a crunch, and he goes for a Snorlax, I was like, uh... Right, that's a special wall, and yeah, but he, I don't know what was going on in his brain, but Crunch does a crit, which is pointless, because I carry Focus Punch anyway, so he was going to go down regardless, so don't you even go saying that crit matter, because that crit don't matter, fool, that crit don't matter, up in here, up, uh, all up in here, up in my grill, up in my grill, like American sayings, like American phrases, don't you think American phrases are very interesting, things like, um, things like, I was talking to Nick just this second, and I was like, charade, and he was like, lol, charade, like, as in charade, because he says charade, but, um, there was no one else to experience that magic, but, um, we enjoyed it. 
Anyway, stop blabbing on about random crap. Executor comes in, which is going to get stroked. Fucking stroked by a crunch. That was a nice little stroked reference in there for my friend, Jack White V, who, um, who I was talking to last night, and we were talking about how stroked was an amazing word, because Xerxes used it, and we'd never heard this word before. And we were just like, wow, that's such a freaking awesome word. So, um, yeah, the bird is the word. And in comes Blaziken, who looks like a Kentucky Fried Chicken bird and has redness on it. But unfortunately, what is going to happen is the fact of the matter is it has speed boost because that was illegal at the time I played this and I was really pissed at this guy because it was like using drought nine tails and speed boost blaziken which were both illegal at that time and I was like dude what the hell are you doing obviously they're legal now but you know at that time I was pissed so uh, it goes for the blaze kick a couple of times and I think he has a crit here and I was like dude what the fuck are you doing how do you get a crit like that and that's just really pissed me off and uh, I managed to take him down with a freaking motherfucking earthquake and down he goes into the hole. I'm not even sure if that was a crit blaze kick to be honest but um, it actually it probably wasn't because he used high jump. I'm getting confused between high jump kick and blaze kick because he used high jump kick when I switched and it didn't do much. Um, Anyway, it goes to Hee Hee Daruma here. I mean, I'm not really talking about many predictions this match, mainly because I didn't really have to make any predictions. Uh, it was pretty much just back and forth um, stuff. Uh, it gets a crit on the Flare Blitz, completely useless, because Flare Blitz from Hee Hee Daruma in Sun hurts, and that's no word of a lie. That's no understatement there. Um, so I was going to go down regardless, so that really didn't matter whatsoever. So I'm going to go to... Uh, this guy because um, Mrs. T just, you know, says fuck you to fire moves and um, just lives her life by that tradition. So, I'm not sure if he is choiced or not, and just to find out whether he is choiced, I'm gonna go to this guy, in the off chance he uses like a freaking superpower or something, just goes for the flare blitz anyway, which does a fuck ton in, you know, in any case, I'm thinking he must be banded. No, he can't be banded, he might be scarfed because of, um, that maybe it's the sun that's doing that extra damage, it probably is the sun. Um, so I'm going to go back to Mrs. T to take the Flare Blitz this time. Uh, and um, it's not going to do too much. Uh, it's going to do enough so that if he Flare Blitzes me again, I'll still have enough left for a sub after it. So I'm just going to use that intention to all purposes and go for the sub. Mainly because he Hidoruma is not going to be able to, you know, take me down low enough where I can't get one. And I do get one off for free because I live with 125 and I get 101 subs, as all of you people who know 101 subs and Blissey and stuff, uh, that's what happens with Mrs. T. So, Focus Punch is going to happen because um, he just keeps constantly taking recoil. I think, yeah, you take recoil from subs now, don't you? Yeah, you do. So, um, that hurts him even more and Focus Punch is going to take him out. Uh, and that thing is out of the way. Although, Mrs. T is pretty much dead, so that's kind of a pain in my my ass. Uh, anyway, he brings out his nice ass, which, you know, is another very funny reference, obviously, because just, you know, using, you know, words that are very, very inappropriate in your videos is obviously going to get you the 10-year-old audience, and that's going to make you, you know, amazing, so obviously that's what you have to do to win lives. Anyway, he uh, goes to the solar beam, I go to the freaking engine as death fodder, because I don't want to go to anything else, really, and I don't really care anymore, um, and I know I have this in the bag, so Mrs. T is going to come in finish off the job because she is a man and she knows no thing other than being awesomeness. So that's going to close up the game there as I go for the crunch and Fire Blaster fails to kill me, Dankashin. So good game there, um, freaking Ryan, 589, 590, 80, 90, 9, T5, T60, 2, T3, T4, 7, 8, 9, 7, 6, 2, Pi, Leet, Anyway, 4-0 game. So, in any case, that's going to be the end of the game today. Um, hope you guys enjoyed, because uh, I did a kind of off-the-wall narration today. I wasn't really too bothered about what was going on in the game, because it wasn't an amazing game, and he kind of annoyed me by using things which were not legal at the time. But, you know, I managed to pull it off, because Sandstorm Team owns Sunstorm Team. Sunstorm? Yeah, a Sunstorm. I would like a Sunstorm, would you not? Anyway... So I'm going to close things up. Um, I'm not sure if I should make a Battle for Charity announcement here or not, or if I'll do an extra video about it, but just so you know, I will be involved in Battle for Charity this time around. Uh, last time around, I had exams in May, which is why I couldn't do it, um, but I'll be streaming this time. Me and Nick are going to be double streaming for some double fun in the sun. Um, I might do a video, just an advert for Battle for Charity, but... Um, if not, just make sure that you're on for the Sunday, because the Sunday is when we're going to be streaming for five hours straight. We're going to have such fun stuff going on. It's going to be awesome. Um, so make sure you're there for that. I'll put links in the description and such. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much all I'm going to say for now. So guten tag, my fellow Americans, Germans, French people, British people, and whoever the hell watches my videos around the world. I love you all. Good night, people.